KL Rahul under pressure to hold spot in India 11. Bengaluru, KL Rahul is under pressure to hold his place in the playing 11 for the rest of the series against New Zealand after his twin failures in the Bengaluru test. It is understood Rahul could be upstaged by Centurion Sir Faraz Khan once Shubman Gill returns. Gill missed the first test nursing a stiff neck but will return to bat at number 3 in the next test in Pune starting on October 24. Gill batted for an hour on the centre wicket at M. Chinnaswamy Stadium after the test ended early on the fifth test, facing Mayank Yadav and Prasad Krishna who are travelling with the team as bowling reserves. Following his 350s, it is Sir Faraz's maiden test 100, he scored 150, when the team had their backs to the wall facing a huge deficit of 356 runs, that impressed the dressing room the most. Kuldeep Yadu praised Sir Faraz's ability to dominate spin. With the courageous Mumbai batter combining so well with Rishabh Pint, the two are being seen as a potentially disruptive middle-order combination for the future. I am not the person who talks after every single game to individuals. They know exactly where they stand in their game, where they stand in their career. India skipper Rohit Sharma said, leaving it to conjecture. We don't change our mindset based on one game or one's eras. The messages are thrown at them quite early at the start. And then they know exactly where they stand and what the situation is of the team. Anyone who gets an opportunity will have to try and make an impact in the game. That is the simple message that we keep talking about. It was unfortunate that Shubman missed this game. And Sir Faraz took that opportunity, got a big 100. It's a good sign for the team, he added. Rahul continues his struggle to get his career up and running, one that began in resounding fashion with a 110 in the 2015 Sydney Test. Pant and Yashasvi Jaiswal made their debuts after him and have made their spots their own. It was Jaiswal who first pushed Rahul from opening to the middle order. Now, it is Sir Faraz who has turned on the heat by the weight of his performances. Rahul has had an indifferent year, beginning well with 86 in the first test at home against England, before missing the rest of the series with a quadriceps injury and then a sore knee. He scored a brisk 68 in Kanpur against Bangladesh when India were pushing for declaration. But given the increased competition for test berths, his inconsistent run is not helping. Rahul averages 33.87 after 52 tests. Rahul's overseas hundreds in Australia, South Africa and England may keep him in contention for the upcoming Australian tour. But in the here and now, Sir Faraz's cricket smarts may fit the bill. Sir Faraz was able to negate the threat of New Zealand's main spinnery Jars Patel by the frequent use of sweep, an approach that may prove for more on this story. Visit the news article link.